Okay, let us move on now to step number six. Uh, step number six says that we need to insert a new slide using the two content layout. In the title placeholder, type uh, on land and C. Okay, so let me let me go back to our 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 um, PowerPoint presentation. They said we need to insert a new slide. Make sure that it, slide number two is highlighted when you insert a new slide. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna insert a new slide. Remember what they said. They told you what type of slide that you need you, you that you need to what to add. They say two content layout. You need to make sure that you add a two content layout. So let's go back. Uh, okay, click here to content layout. This is your two content layout. Click on it. Okay, and then go back to the instructions. Uh, okay, they say it in the title placeholder, type on land, blah blah blah. Let's just highlight this. I'm just gonna highlight it. Not even, I don't even want to know what it, it says, and then copy that. And then I, I have to know that okay, it's supposed to be the title. Then paste it as text okay once you're done with that you're done with step number six then we highlight step number six okay so we're gonna combine step number six and step number seven in this video because they refer to the same slide they say in the content placeholder on the left type the following text increasing and decreasing the list level as shown below in this present okay in this presentation theme the first level bullet points do not include a a bullet symbol the second level a bullet points will include a bullet symbol okay so this one is a bit tricky so because upon reading the instruction you will actually assume that they want you to make it look exactly like the way the, the it is shown on the on your 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 word your powerpoint right In, on your on the word document i mean but that's not the case you just have to copy them one like you ha just have to copy the text one by one so i'm gonna do that like this i'm gonna copy this this is gonna be the first line and then okay on the left then paste it here and then move on to copy what's written on the second line uh, copy that and then uh, paste it uh, press enter then uh, paste it then move on to to copy the next one okay I'm copying the next one copy that uh, go back to your PowerPoint press enter you paste this text okay uh go back again yeah it's tedious but i think this is this is the easiest way to do it because if you copy everything at once they are uh, they've included uh, tabs there to actually format it the way it is and then that will give you a, a bit of a nightmare eh? so it's better to do it like this just copy the text copy the text mm -hmm. press enter and then you paste it then we almost done okay now we've oh let's copy this one you copy this you go you go back to your powerpoint presentation and then you paste it okay after pasting it this is uh, the critical part they say the first level do not contain the bullet points so we're not gonna worry too much about that so we're gonna come here you're gonna click here and make sure that you select this one after selecting this one you you increase the one increase list level okay and then that's it then you go you, you then you come to these two the last two you do the same thing you click here ah no i didn't have to do that okay you have to select it like this and then you increase the list level okay then you're done with that part of the instruction so that means we are done with level with um, 
uh, step number seven then we can highlight this the whole thing okay and then you save to make sure that you remember what you have done so uh, step number eight is also related to that slide so we're gonna in include it on this video so in the content placeholder on the right from your downloaded data files insert the picture uh, p01e underscore whale and then apply the reflected the reflected route rectangular picture style okay so let's go back to our this one we need to ins insert a picture then you click on this icon here it will give you options we need the one with whales you click on it then you insert you see after inserting it the format is already selected we need the one rounded rectangle where is the rounded rectangle i think it's this nope where is it uh, reflected rounded rectangle this is the one that we're looking for then you click on it so to to confirm you need to go back reflected uh, rounded rectangles okay and then that's that's it uh, you're done with step number eight then you highlight it uh, okay the highlighting it's only for me to actually keep track of what I've done then you you save it so then uh, I think we're done with step number eight so we're not gonna do step number nine on this video because it's a new slide okay so we're done with this video okay